You know, I think this is the first... I think that this is the second PC game I've ever done on this channel that ran on a disc. Like, from a DVD or a CD? Yeah. So one of those ones where the CD needs to be in the drive for it to actually work? Yes. Like that kind of DRM? Yeah. Damn. This movie came out in... No, damn it. This game came out in 2005. <laughs> Slip up number one! And, and now it... we'll leave it in. Did you start the recording yet? Yes. I like I like the games oh, wait, where it's I'm, like... What I meant. Check, uh, man, check the manual uh, page such and such and that's the code that you have to type in oh my god yes this game was one of those those are awesome okay so welcome to the movies oh, yeah. something that i believe is kind of a hidden gem it i think a lot of people overlooked it when it first came out partially due to the fact that it came out around the same time the 360 launched That's cool. Uh, yeah. The, this game is PC exclusive. However, there were ports for a PlayStation 2 and Xbox version planned. But those got canned was... after low sales. And also, that would have been a terrible idea anyways. Yeah. This mo this game, I don't, I have Dude, no idea. Dude, I'm, I'm not sure what, like, after uh, Peter Mullen went off the deep end, people started, like, ignoring his games even though they didn't really affect his uh like it, even though it didn't really affect the movies or black and white 2 that much i think black and white, white 2 got way more hate than it deserved hey before we start tonight can we like place bets on how many times slacker is gonna say this move and then stop himself before he actually means this game I don't think that's going to happen very often. I, I'm guessing at least about... I think it's going to be the other way around. Ten times or more. So this movie, I mean this game... I think it's going to be the other way around. Right. He's going to be making a movie. Okay, continuing on from what I said before. This game had one expansion pack. Stunts and effects. On Amazon right now, the expansion pack goes for even more than the base game. Wow, how rare is it? I don't know. It, it's the only expansion pack, and as you can see, I actually have it. So, we're going to be playing you with... You think... Oh, you actually... Okay, I thought you said you think you actually have it. Have it. I was about to say. No, I, no. Look right here. I actually have it. Yeah, I, I see now. So, we pretty much have all the official content ever released for this game. This game also had mod support back in the day, and you could actually download mods from the website for this game. Very which nice. Is, yeah, which is why I'm kind of shocked, like, Activision or Microsoft never re-released this for, like, Steam, because it would be perfect. Yeah, no, that and the entire Black and White series. Like, you have any idea how much I want? Because I have the original discs for Black and White too, and I genuinely, like, I dearly wish I could... Uh, play those games again, but that's clearly not going to happen. All right. So, now that we're getting into the skinny of things, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be playing this game all the way up to the 70s, because even though the game technically ends at the 2000s, I'm going to be playing up to the 70s, because at that point, you've pretty much seen all there is to this game. Like, everything after that is pretty much just sets and cosmetics. Hokey dokey. So, what do we name our studio? Uh, Brain Fre Freezer Studios. Vanilla, but I'll take it. Uh, we are almost 10 minutes in and we have not gotten to the actual game yet. Then we're cutting it. Oh, well. That's all right. Let's make a movie. Oh boy, it has a scrolling title thing. That's awesome. 
It's like we're in an RPG. Oh, Welcome damn it. To your new movie studio. Oh, the... dang. Yeah, I skipped the thing. Sorry. Do you really want to see it? No. No, right. no, it's okay. okay. Before you open the it's, studio, it's 1920. You Where's all the essentials? flappers? They're busy fapping. Now, holy crap, you have $150,000. You know how much that's worth in 1920? It's, like less than, it's less than you think. Five million dollars. It's less than you. It, you it's less than you hoped, but more than you think. Yeah. The desired location. Go ahead. Oh boy. To build the stage school, you'll need to hire a builder at the staff office by the studio gates. Now click. You guys and hearing it okay? The left mouse yep. button yep. briefly to pick this them up. Whatever. Great. My my phone's Here's blowing up with notifications of now, Kylo and Jake. Follow great. Build fantastic. While fault. the stage school is being built, you can use this time to sort out the rest of the buildings you'll need. Oh my god, Lionhead predicted Super Mario Maker! Do I need to explain what the builders and the janitors do? No. no you gotta go there's... through the tutorial anyways. Okay, well, this is the tutorial. Uh, yeah, yeah you're, you're gonna go through the tutorial anyways. You don't have a choice. Just follow the sparkles. Well, technically I did, but I kind of want to show off you can rotate the game. Building by holding down the left mouse button. We'll show off the game later. If you if you really want to show it off that badly, Everything just cut the tutorial out. The you're not going to, though. In fact, you're probably gonna leave this in. Yeah. How do you hire the totally arrogant... Uh, studio executive who has a mistress on the side. No, that's us. No, that's who, yeah, that that's us. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, cool. Stage school is completed. Okay. The music's You'll pretty cool. Select click on the sets icon. Okay, so. Then select the stage set. Good news and bad news. The good news is I'm not building the buildings this time. The bad news. Thank God. The bad news is I'm building the lot. <laughs> Finally, build a production office. You'll need this to release your. Movie. Hey, if we're only going to the 1970s, it's fine. Yeah. Okay, that'll another and follow the speed you want. Okay, excellent. Are you congratulations? The studio is officially open. So, when when do the other studios build an army and then come and 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 attack your your buildings? Oh no, trust me. If tomorrow, if this game goes as well as it normally goes for me, I'm gonna steamroll everyone. Actually, you know what? What you want to do is that you want to take people with experience like that, make them actors. People with no experience make them extras. The trick is to overcomplicate things to the point where it costs more to make the movie than to actually. And then as it. assemble a crew, a cast, and then make war on another studio. Like Age of Empires. I, no, why I, don't you do what Hollywood does and hire people with no act, uh, with no uh, actual talent, who just look pretty, dude, that's and have what we them just, do that, every movie ever. Dude, that's what we just did. That's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be working these people to death. Go. Make the set that's going to be overused for the next 10 years. Pretty much. Now everyone knows a great movie starts with a great script. Luckily, you've just time to follow oh, the script to the casting office where you... Okay. All right. You Can we read the script? Cast you place the, the script in there. Put in the director. Put actor. Put the actor. The stars have now started rehearsing the script. This will help now hire some crew members to manage all the equipment. You'll need to hire another crew member can, for the movie. Can we hire Jack Black? Available crew will fill any uh, required crew positions. Actually, so there is something them. that comes Look installed that is lets you make your own actors. Huh? 
So if I really wanted to, I could actually make movies, actors based on all of us. Hey, so we do we get to read the script? Do we know what the movie's about? No. Or is it just like generic? I mean, we can we can edit the script, but I'm pretty sure Slacker's not going to do that a whole lot until end game. Well, until we're ready to quit. Yeah, uh, most of the scripts that you play through in the game are given to you, but later we get the option to actually make our own stuff. All right. And how does it know if it's how does the finished. program know it's if it's good, or is it just movie. doesn't really care? Place it, in the it, room. it doesn't really care. Office. You. As you get further along in the game, it gives you Your better script writing studios. Go to the stage yeah, no, uh, it, it, it's really all down to stats, more or less. Pretty much. There's also a bunch nice. of numbers that determine it, like how much experience the directors and the actors the have, how, how much novelty value the, the set. sets have. Ready for shooting to begin. Hold on, I want to... There we go. Check what everyone is doing by looking at the cast and crew information bubble on the movie. <laughs> I love how you're freaking out all the people out by dragging them and dropping them. Yeah, no, for some reason all Lionhead games that I've played have that sort of quirk about them. When this... You can actually... Oh, is this a minigame? No, some... Some scenes allow you to change the scene that's currently being shot right now. Uh, this one doesn't allow for that, but maybe the next one does. Scenes okay. Now you can continue to follow the movie's progress. In preparation for your next Keep movie, in mind that mm, this is available. supposed to be a comedy this and to keep the public Oh, this person actually movies. had experience in comedy and we chose people who have absolutely no experience in comedy. Great. It'll be a, they'll be the straight. Wow, we really are Hollywood. Yeah. Uh fortunately this early on it doesn't really matter cuz nobody Cause has any tutorial. talent. Yeah, it's nobody has any talent anyway. Okay. While the movie is shooting, it's worth looking after the rest of the studio. Look around the studio for information icons and the corresponding tips. What the fuck saw me? Sorry, I'm playing a different game right now. Oh. What are you playing? I'm playing Swords with Sauce. And then I just realized how terrible the quote-unquote stealth mechanic is. Ah. Not really a stealth mechanic. I want, the wh when's this guy gonna lift that barbell? Right now, actually. Lift that friggin' barbell. Here he goes. Oh, Fail. Remember, this is the 1920s. This movie isn't gonna have any sound. Really? I guess that's what people found funny in 1920. This game also has a uh, research. Dude, if it moved in the night, like if it was a picture that moved in the 1920s, it was impressive. Yeah, this game's research thing also acts a lot like Civilization, where you can, where if you go ahead enough, you can unlock stuff far faster than you would have in reality. Oh, I guess. These scenes don't allow you to change anything. Uh, let's have this person practice so that we can actually have experienced people working on our next movie. Is your movie almost done? Uh, Is yeah. that that icon? Yeah, it's almost done. That's what this thing. That's what that thing means. Oh boy. I oh, want to see the oh. critic's reaction. Cut it. Oh, boy! Where is the red carpet premiere? Uh, the red carpet comes... There is no red carpet from here. 
shooting unfortunately is on your no it's now ready for release at the production instead office. we take the movie and we put it into the release spot and this is where they break down everything that goes into the thing oh no novelty value superb though oh no you only got half you just got less than half a star Okay, so let me the quickly bag. go through what all these means. This basically means how much chemistry they've got. This means how much this sets are, how much in repair the sets are. This is basically just experience. Uh, this is how popular they are. This is how much of a public eye it's in. Notice the timeline at the top. The timeline that's at the top of here, that's what that's for. This is how often the sets are used. This is using technology... This is going to be really high once we get further. For no the particular game. reason, by the way. Yeah. Let's look at these amazing reviews, by the way. The overall quality of acting in this movie is appalling. Excellent. Your first oh, movie well. Releasing a movie has given you some recognition, and you're now listed in the official industry charts. Hey guys, we charted. <laughs> we are now moguls! That's, that's impressive. Did you just we say are... you charted? We are now moguls! Your studio's chart, oh, man. the bigger your stars, Making royalties. the higher your studio, the better your movies, the higher your studio to view the star. Now Basic that you have a movie out and so Basically, the studio rating is determined by how much money you have, how good your movies are, how big your stars are, and other things such as how many awards, such as if you win awards at the awards show and how... The money in the bank. How it's good your lot look looks. Your stars and that lot thing isn't right. really going to go high. <laughs> your employees need good sanitation, so place down some restrooms to improve your studio. All right, room. let's put a shitter. Where do we put one? That is a good question. I don't know. Right next to the set, on the yep. set. Just the put it on the set. Have, put a working the toilet in the middle of the set. It costs three thousand dollars. That's crazy. Do you need a male and a female one? No. No. <laughs> These are your employees need good catering provisions too. A snack van will do for now. All right, I'm gonna oh, put a. Right. I'm gonna. I'm going to put a McDonald's right about here. Great. This will raise not only your. There you go. Rating, happy stars make better movies. If you want us, and their mood bar shows you how happy they are. <gasps> When the mood bar goes beyond the upper threshold line, basically, if this is green, that means they're happy. When it gets to red, which is going to happen red. more often than you this think, means a star is very unhappy. Unhappy stars could cause one aspect of a star's mood is how they. One way to improve a star's image is to give them a makeover. To do this, you'll need to build a makeover department first. Remember, you can rotate a building by holding the left mouse button, and you can drop builders around the sides of the building to speed up construction if you want. Use the arrows above the star icons to view your other staff types. Staff icons can be used in the same way as star icons. Okay, while the makeover department is being built, try placing a few more ornaments around your studio. Christmas trees. These come from, this, these come from the Suns and Effects package and these these little things are amazing. Just put them anywhere and they improve your lot rating immediately. Which is kind of dumb, but you know. It, it's really Whatever. dumb. In fact, okay, the makeover department is built. Pick up when when we get to trailers, I'm going to show you how these completely break the prestige factor. And yeah, they should like give you like super bonus to everything, but only in December. But all, and Drop all other months, they give you zero. To enter the well, that would be smart. What? Drop a star in the makeover room to an auto make. Drop a star in the makeover room to enter the make. Okay. 
Make sure all your oh, stars give me a makeover. When you're ready to move on, click on this bubble. All three of the stars are in there? Is this like upgrading your Great. stars to Remember like to 1921 from 1920? <laughs> The more successful your star, hover over one of your stars to see how they feel about their salary. We're gonna give everyone a raise, make them happy. Yeah. They want to give, as Burr. the star's rating increases, they'll demand higher pay. Stars can become jealous of their colleagues too, if treated unfairly. At some point, your stars will begin to get bored, and when have a look at your stars' information bubble. Have a look at if the board and bar falls below the threat. Making movie. You've acquired another script, which can be found at the Okay, this is case. the last one they're just going to give us. Remember to follow the guide. All the movies from here on in, we have to actually hire to writers for. Extras will automatically fill any minor roles in your movies. Yeah. They'll gain genre experience, and you can turn them into stars if you think they're good enough. So the lightning bolt mean they've been made over? The lightning bolt means that they're currently busy on something that isn't a movie. Ah, uh, okay. And nobody has any romance experience. That means we're just How gonna... nice. What do they have experience in? Nothing! Porn! Oh have, yeah. The when can, when can you start making those? Uh, we're, right when now? we get the custom screenwriting office. All right. Uh, we're also gonna make our own movie at the end of this series. Like we're just gonna spend an entire session just making a movie. Can we complete with voice acting and everything? Yeah, they actually allow you to. That's why I suggested record. it. Yeah, you can record your voice for dialogue. You can add subtitles. You can... Uh, later on, they even give you a green screen as part of the stunts and effects package. Remember to place a movie in the shoot it room when it's ready to... Sh okay, your second movie is now shooting. Follow the movie if you want to make sure everything goes to plan. Keep an eye on your star's moods during shooting. If a star's mood bar is glowing green, they will give a great performance. But if it's glowing red, they'll give a very bad performance. Oh, no shit, Sherlock. <laughs> There are some new sets available to build, which will help add variety oh, that's, to your future Oh, that's a janitor. Movies can be themed around one of five... Oh, like we got some new sets. Action, comedy, romance, sci-fi, and horror. Making movies of different genres and using different sets will keep your movies fresh and interesting. Oh, oh yeah, we're gonna have a romance in the musty cellar. Now, technically, there is only five genres the game actually considers, but you can pretty much make anything you want. This one's oh. fucking. This one's fucking huge. There's actually. This isn't even the biggest set, by the way. That is a big thing in the club. Oh, they get bigger. They get much, much bigger. Can you feel what she most said. seems at once? Ha ha ha, never heard that one before. Comedy! If you, if you don't build those little pathways, it means... You build the set and nobody will walk there. 
Well, no, it just means if everything's connected by paths, it raises your studio rating. Basically, uh, the AI the AI prioritizes uh, paved roads, like in most games. Yeah. gains experience while working on a movie based upon the genre of the movie being made. A more experienced star will give a better performance. Okay, your movie is still shooting, so make sure your buildings are all connected with paths your employees need, or place Your employees more need more ornaments. restrooms. You must construct additional pylons. I would... Also, don't worry, they give you a bigger bathroom later on. Hell, they give you a restaurant later on. Yeah, shouldn't you build more food stuff? I'm only gonna build stuff as it tells me to. Oh. Which is probably the wisest idea. Yeah. Keep in mind, I've... Unlike... The, unlike The Sims, I've actually kind of played this recently. Fortunately... I'm slightly better at building things in this than I am at The Sims. Yeah, because it's a lot easier to build lots, not ruin lives. <laughs> at least if I don't set up a path here, it doesn't strand someone. Yeah, seriously. Oh, we can actually change this scene. Uh, reaction, smell, look, throw. Okay, so, let's see. Unfortunately for the script scenes, it doesn't take into consideration those options. Also, we're not going to watch any of the movies that the game gives us because I've seen them. They all suck. Yeah, that's fair. How long are they? Like They're... five seconds. Your latest movie has finished well, shooting and is ready for release at... I think the longest ones are about like two or three minutes. Yeah, so basically when you're trying to make money and not make an entertaining movie, just forget about it. Oh, yeah. The production office. Fantastic. The production the office. <laughs> has been released. To get to the top of the charts, the star rating of a star increases with a sick a movie star rating increases with the quality of the script, the cast and director, their performances, and many other factors. To get more detail, when part of a star's movies, you can get a breakdown of the best and worst features of the studio by reading the studio. After making a movie, hover over. With time, you'll acquire new facilities in which your stars can de-stress. Okay, for your the easiest way to write a script is to hire some script writers to do it for you. To do this, you'll need to build a script writing office. Do this now. Okay, while the script writing office is being built, Hover over your stars to see if you can improve any of their moods. Remember, you can right-click to see all of their information. 